Before the game against USF, Mikhail McKay was wearing the latest in helmet camera technology during warm-ups. Sports Video Innovations has put a small camera at the top of the face mask to give fans an up-close and personal view from the field. So in 2014, we launched our first version, which is the SD card um, version. We uh, sent off to a lot of schools to get their feedback. Uh, and then this year, we developed the wireless version, which we're going to be uh, showcasing today. I'll let them put it on, then I'll, I'll turn it on. Okay. The helmet cam has been tested in arena games and other college practices. But this was the first test for the new wireless system. They can't use it in a game yet, but they wanted a pregame for a nationally televised game. So they chose the Bearcats. Well, from um, all the information I got from CBS was that um, Cincinnati is uh, very innovative. They're open to new technology and they are you know, welcoming uh, this type of technology for the fan face inter interaction and also the coaching platform. As the players have seen with vision restrictive glasses and the Dynavision system, UC is all about innovation. Bob Mangine and his staff see another opportunity down the road to work technology like this into their ongoing study to prevent concussions and promote player safety. I think that that's something we'd have to look at as far as being able to actually see what the athlete's looking at and then where the blow is coming from or where the other player is coming from and then potentially focus our vision training into those fields if there's consistency to it. Again, most of the data we have comes from long shots and I think anytime we can get actual real-time data of what the athlete's seeing, it could help us down the line. Helmet cameras have yet to be approved for in-game use in college. That is the ultimate goal, giving the fan a view of the game like never seen before. Coaches will get a better understanding of what the player sees on the field, but at UC, most importantly, it gives them another tool as they continue to try to make the game safer for their student athletes. Once again, I think our hallmark, our, our, or I should say our gold standard is going to be how can we improve the ability to our kids to see what's coming where the head's coming from and how to protect themselves. If you can protect the kid, then you can prevent the injury.